Water is an essential component in many industrial manufacturing processes. For many companies, the quality of water plays a crucial role towards success. Last year we won the award for Newspaper of the Year, which is an internationally renowned prize. Several parameters need to be in place to receive this award, including the quality of print, the layout, content and profitability of the paper. Well, all these factors together eventually led to the awarding of the prize, and I believe that part of that success can be attributed to grander water. Who would ever have imagined that there is a connection between the print quality of a newspaper and the condition of the water involved? In June 1999, the Media House for Alberg decided to install the Grander Water Revitalizing System, which means that they were among the first printing plants to choose this approach towards quality management. Today, other companies in Switzerland have followed their lead. In the beginning, they were curious and ready to take on a new challenge. By the end, the practical advantages had become apparent. Now, with a track record of eight years, the results are impressive. The quality of water is an important factor in the offset printing process. We took the opportunity to test the grander device and found that something extraordinary took place. There's a four to six month cleaning cycle we go through with the offset printing machine. We wash it with the cleaning concentrate and then you see dirt lifting off. But when we installed the grander device, we got the same result we would normally get with the concentrate. We were all amazed to see this process happen before our very eyes. That was the initial result, and then later, during the printing process, we found that the stability of the water had increased. The quality of the water was no longer fluctuating as much as before. Water quality has a significant influence on the quality of print and the spoilage. That means that in the quality of print, in the water and color balance, I get more brilliance of color in the newspaper. I get more contrast in the images. In order to achieve this, the ink has to be good, but also the quality of the water, the pH value, conductance and surface tension. And here we have found that the water is more stable and causes us fewer problems. And we really could not imagine doing without it now. Und ja, wir möchten es eigentlich nicht mehr missen. Das ist die chemikalien einrichtung This is a chemical dosage equipment. Here you can see the broad spectrum biocide we use to kill the bacteria. We used to use a stabilizer to keep the particles suspended and a dispersing agent to maintain appropriate precipitation. The whole process has become obsolete since we introduced grander technology. Germany's Daimler company is based in Wörth on the River Rhine. Today a total of around 100,000 trucks per year are built here. Millions of screws are fastened using an advanced air compression technique. Air compressors, however, produce excessive heat, which has to be controlled and systematically carried away. It is not an easy task to try to stabilize the cooling water. Until now, the only possible approach had been through applying chemicals. Daimler, however, wanted more to protect the environment while at the same time reducing cost. After we installed Grander technology, we were able to reduce the use of chemicals. Then we tried to stop using chemicals altogether. That is, right after adding a standard dose of chemicals, we turned off all the dosing equipment and waited to see the results while taking regular measurements in case we needed to start reintroducing the chemicals. As it turned out, we didn't have to do that. We kept testing every six weeks, but found that with water conditioned by Grander, the system is stable. As an engineer, I would say that the experiment was a success. We plan to switch over all our cooling systems in due course. Our approach turned out to be a model experiment. It was successful and confirmed to us that the technology works. Based on this, we will continue to use this technology. In 
In the brewing industry, water is the most essential resource, even if the average customer might not see it this way. But at the Memminger Brewery in the town of Memmingen, Germany, personal experience at home as well as recommendations from various other brewing companies regarding revitalized water led to a decision to use this water in the production process. And so in keeping with the motto, anything worth doing is worth doing well, the entire production process was revitalized. Alles, was irgendwie mit Wasser zu tun hat, ist durch Grande auf. We've used Grander technology in every water-based process. This includes cleaning, heating, beer production, the whole lot. We assumed that the beer would have the full round flavor and would go down well and have an improved taste. One of the positive side effects was that we could reduce the use of disinfectants for cleaning. For example, we no longer use chlorine during the cleaning of the tanks. We've managed to completely eliminate 2.5 tons of chlorine each year. As you can imagine, our accountants have also noticed and they just can't help smiling. Revitalized water goes very well with hops and malt. It was definitely a pleasant surprise in store for the brewers. The fermentation process also takes less time. We found that under the same conditions, fermentation is reduced by about a day. We don't know why that happens. We can only tell because of the byproducts of fermentation that we use as a reference in deciding when to send the beer to the storage cellar. We can see that fermentation reaches its target earlier, by about 24 hours. We've managed to reduce the overall cost of production. In addition, the quality of the beer has improved. For example, the carbon dioxide distribution throughout the beer is better. When you drink it, it seems less gassy. It's also easier on the stomach. We also produce our own soft drinks and they have improved too. The fruit flavor is more pronounced and the carbon dioxide is better distributed. Overall, there's been a marked improvement. The Hirschmann company in Rangweil, Austria manufactures, among other things, plastic parts for the automotive industry. The pressure casting process is a very sensitive step. For a problem-free production process, the correct cooling water temperature is absolutely crucial. Hirschmann's water quality problems had become so serious that they could no longer be ignored. Conventional water treatment methods could not solve the problems. As a result, in 2005, despite some natural skepticism by the staff, Hirschmann started to experiment with grander water revitalization. The initial motivation was that in early 2000 we were experiencing serious problems with sludge accumulation in our system and tools. Conventional filtration techniques and chemical treatment were unable to get the sludge under control. We had tremendous problems with the filters and were constantly having to replace them. We used chemicals, but with no real success. In the past, we experienced serious problems because our cooling units simply could not cope. Cooling is really important. High quality production is only possible when the entire system, including the tools, is properly cooled. Tools that are not cooled sufficiently cannot make clean parts. Either they get sticky, causing imperfections in the product, or in more severe cases, the whole production line stops due to machine failure. For a company like us that relies on a continuous production process, that's a disaster. One of our engineers suggested that we install a grander system. It's fair to say that over the last two years, we've never looked back and have not had a single problem. No more sludge in the water and production lines that run perfectly. The skeptics became converts. It's the result that counts, not the explanation of how it works. I'm happy to see the way things are now. We no longer have to spend money on unwanted maintenance. I've got machines that run perfectly. I'm not really bothered whether I can explain it or not. The Gerresheimer Wilden Company in Germany's Black Forest is one of the biggest European manufacturers of plastic oral hygiene products. They're best known for their toothbrushes, which are manufactured for many well-known brands around the world. An item as simple as a toothbrush involves an astonishing amount of technology. 
confronted with serious corrosion in their cooling circuits, the company's engineers were prepared to test the effectiveness of new approaches. This led to a six-month trial of Grander technology in 2003. The cooling system is the most important part of the process. The reason is that the tiniest fluctuations in water temperature can negatively affect the entire production process. Our cooling system has to work at 100% efficiency for the entire duration of the production cycle. What happened was that the water was full of brown particles. It was a bit like a brown slimy film. If you dipped your fingers into the water, it always felt a bit oily. In contrast, if you look at the water now, it's clear and looks as though it's come straight from the tap. And all that without the use of any additives or chemicals. The cooling water in our system is now always clear. In general, our water has become much clearer and cleaner. The particles that you used to see floating around in it no longer exist. The whole process has become much more stable. The production systems run more smoothly, with less maintenance and far higher output. Our maintenance intervals have become greatly extended. The product quality has improved and the entire production process runs more efficiently. As a result, we can now achieve much higher productivity, which of course has a positive impact on our whole business. Manaschnitten chocolate wafers are famous the world over. This Viennese specialty is almost as well known as the city's cathedral, St. Stephen's. The inventors chose the cathedral as their logo more than 100 years ago. Grander technology and the production of Mana chocolate wafer products have been closely linked since 1992. Mana products range from rum liqueur chocolates to delicious shortbread biscuits and a variety of wafers. For the average customer, the complexity of the technical production process is unimaginable. Engineering technician Helmut Ondracek is one of the pioneers in the use of grander technology in industry. Here you can see a unit we installed in our water cooling system. The units you see here had previously been operating since 1992 in our Napoli plant in Vienna, up to its relocation. After spending two to three years on the shelf, they were put back to use again very successfully. Here again we found that we could drastically reduce the use of chemicals. I was impressed by the fact that the unit's performance did not suffer at all as a result of their time out of use. When we reinstalled them, they worked just as well as before. We were actually quite surprised by that. We can honestly say that we have not seen any reduction in the grander unit's performance over time. From about 1990, we started to have serious problems with algae in our water cooling systems. We had a company working for us doing some installation work, and the man from the company came up to me and told me that he could offer me a product that needs no power and no chemicals. At first, of course, that sounded a bit unrealistic to an experienced engineer like me. But because we got on well together professionally, he convinced me. So on July 21, 1992, we installed the first Grander unit at our plant in Vienna. Within two weeks, we found that we could stop using chemicals. The payback period of the units was about half a year. But if you take into account what we saved on chemicals, even if you allow for the cost of installation, the payback time is only about nine months. I have no doubt that this technology works, but I have no idea how it works. Every day the Sonhofen dairy plant in Germany produces 190,000 liters of milk into butter, various cheeses and yogurt. Hygiene and cleanliness in and around the tanks are key factors in this industry. However, the company's focus was in minimizing the use of chemicals within the facility. The dairy plant was a pioneer in the industry when it installed Grander technology. 
before there was no practical experience available from dairies. The plant measured the system's performance in its own laboratory. Our aim was to reduce bacteria and the amount of chemicals, so we looked into using grander technology. We installed the grander equipment in three separate areas. The two main areas where the grander water was used were the zip washing equipment used for cleaning the tanks and the extensive network of pipes. We succeeded in reducing the use of chemicals by about 40 to 50 percent, and we were able to reduce our water consumption by 20 percent. The reduction of water consumption was caused by the increased effectiveness of the grander water in cleaning. I would say grander is a very effective method for industrial use. Depending upon the application, great savings are possible. Huge amounts of water are consumed by heavy industry. The pipes used for cooling the electric arc ovens of the Lietzen Mechanical Engineering Plant in Austria were being damaged by the corrosive well water. Leaking pipes had become a fact of life as the water corroded the metal. Chemicals could not be used to solve the problem because of the open nature of the cooling system. After the grander system was installed, water quality was monitored constantly and compared with previous records. We had lots of trouble with corrosion damaging many of our pipes. Now we have pretty much got the problem under control. We had a lot of trouble fixing the leaking pipes. Because the system needs to be constantly cooled, we had to run bypass pipes around all the damaged sections before we could make repairs. I had no preconceived ideas about what the system might achieve. I mean, when you see one of those grander metal boxes, you just can't imagine that they would actually do anything to water. But one and a half years later, we have a lot fewer damaged pipes, so I'm absolutely certain that it works. We monitored the water quality regularly, and before we installed Grander, the iron content in the heating water was 26 milligrams per liter. Two months later, the iron had come down to only 0.7 milligrams per liter. This was fantastic news and basically solved our corrosion problem. We no longer have any corrosion. What I can say is that things have got much, much better. Of course, we still have to handle problems with existing pipe damage, and we're still renewing pipes at the moment to deal with the old problems. The biggest change has been with the reduction in sludge in the heating system. I'm absolutely convinced that it works. It's what I honestly believe. Even looking at the shower heads, you can see a lot less lime scale. The difference is there right in front of your eyes, and best of all, we have lots of detailed records to support our findings. The MKE factory in Austria can make almost anything out of metal. Products range from cigarette lighters to water hydrants and from the tiniest dental implant to a 20-ton pressure reduction valve. In 2005, just after our summer break, we filled the systems with fresh emulsions of grander water mixed with lubricating oil. We then installed a grander revitalization system in the coolant reservoir of one particular machine. We then kept a close eye on the machine for a year. We used to have a lot of problems and found that the cooling emulsion would go bad after only three to four months. There was a terrible smell and it became essentially unusable. Now, however, it's a different story. The same coolant can be used for up to nine months. This is the machine where we tested the coolant for a year. We took one sample before filling the machine with grander water and analyzed it. In the autumn of 2005, the machine was refilled with grander water 
and the lubricant emulsion was tested over the period of a year. We found that the emulsion contained a lot less bacteria, and after one year the coolant was in top condition according to our standards. We honestly don't know how it works, but it is obvious to everybody that the smell has been dramatically reduced throughout the factory. It's really stable. None of us knows why, but it simply does the job. This factory near Vienna produces 13 billion cigarettes every year. Every hour, 450,000 cubic meters of air is recirculated by seven separate air conditioning systems. Each one of them is fitted with a grander water revitalization system. If you look down here, you can see the filter that cleans the bypass water. Right about here, we used to have lumps of slime that had to be cleaned almost every day to stop blockages from forming. The problem has completely vanished. We previously tried to prevent the problem with lots of different chemicals, but still had to keep on cleaning the air conditioning units. This involved the use of high-pressure cleaning equipment. We're talking about two or three hours of cleaning work every three to four days. Now that we have the grander system, we've been able to extend our cleaning intervals to between four and six weeks. The company uses a lot less chemicals, in fact, about 50% less. We've saved a fortune on expensive chemicals. After the enormous success with grandeur in the factory, the head office decided they needed to use it too. We use a cocktail of three different chemicals to treat the water in our air washing units for mineral deposits, algae, bacteria and fungi. It's true that we've completely stopped using the chemical, which we formerly used against algae and bacteria. We don't need it anymore because there's no longer any slime. Our maintenance workload is a lot less, and we spend less money on costly chemicals. Formtech is a German company that produces plastic parts for the automotive industry around the world. The water used in the closed circuit cooling system was heavily dosed with chemicals. Factory employees would routinely get cooling water on their skin when changing molds. The water was filthy, contaminated with bacteria and extremely unpleasant for the employees to work with. We used to fill our cooling system with untreated tap water. Often, within only a couple of months, we would find that the water had gradually gone bad. We then had to play around with various combinations of chemicals in an attempt to get the water under control. But we had little luck. We found a huge amount of rust in the system. Our lab tests also indicated the presence of a lot of bacteria and algae. All the problems pretty much disappeared when we switched over to the grander system. We just don't have to deal with these issues anymore. Water is a crucial factor in our production process. We need process stability, and now we have it. We're not too interested in taking water samples because we're not physicists or chemists. We prefer to stick to what we know best. If you'd asked me last year whether such a simple change could have allowed us to use water without chemical treatment, I would have said no way, not a chance. I would have said it simply could not be true. The reason is that we tried it with chemicals and they didn't work. Before that we tried it without chemicals and that didn't work. But now, because of grander technology, it does work. We don't use any chemicals at all. We don't need to do any maintenance work on the water system and it doesn't consume any additional energy. We started to use grander technology at the beginning of this year and refilled the system with it. 
Up to now, the water in our cooling system is of a high enough quality to be drinkable. We've always looked to improve our water in ways that can be measured, and we've had a lot of success. The fact that we have experienced some other positive side effects makes it even more attractive to us. Isosport produces top-quality, ultra-smooth plastic surfaces for skis used by world champions. Our machines used to have cooling problems caused by fluctuation in the water quality. We had problems with lime scale and heavy algal growth. The only way to deal with these problems was to add chemicals and biocides to try to bring the water back to normal. The cooling system plays a vital role in keeping all the plastic components at the right temperature. Problems with the quality of cooling water lead directly to temperature fluctuations that cause problems with the quality of the end product. For example, if you try to heat a piece of plastic to too high a temperature without immediately cooling it again, it will start to bend and twist. That is exactly what happened to our products if they are not properly cooled. Before we had grandeur installed, we'd sometimes experience serious problems with the quality of the cooling water. I confess that when we started the Grander project, I was really skeptical and thought it was New Age nonsense. It didn't take me long to change my mind because I couldn't help noticing that the quality of the cooling water was getting better and better. The water now looks good enough to drink. Algae and slime bacteria have virtually disappeared. We installed the Grander system one and a half years ago and have been closely monitoring the water quality ever since. Our experiences with the Grander system are solidly backed up by both our in-house laboratory and independent external water analyses. One question that keeps on coming up is, how long does a Grander unit keep on working? Isosport's experience with Grander technology has been consistently positive for over seven years. Since we started using Grander technology, we've managed to eliminate all water treatment chemicals. Product quality has improved enormously over the years. Our cooling system now needs little or no attention. We've been able to dramatically reduce the frequency of our regular water quality checks using both internal and external laboratories because the results are always excellent. Leather production, especially the splitting of the hides, requires a lot of water. Because water systems tend to clog with lime scale, chemicals have to be used to prevent it, and this has a number of side effects. Lime scale causes serious problems with the precision of the leather splitting machinery. Sometimes the problems are so serious that production has to be halted. Because the water system is open to the atmosphere, atmospheric oxygen tends to dissolve in the water, stimulating the growth of algae. It is very important to maintain consistent water quality. A splitting machine is used to split the hides into two. This is a precision operation involving tolerances as tiny as 0.3 millimeters, which represents a tenth of the thickness of the hide. These tolerances have to be maintained while splitting pieces of flexible hide up to three meters long. We used to have huge problems with lime scale. The splitting machine struggled to make accurate cuts because of the lime scale deposits which built up on its blades. Before we found Grander, we had to use chemicals to control the lime scale. But despite the use of chemicals, the blades were still affected by lime scale, which made them get stuck. Basically, the lime scale got into tricky places like the screw heads, which meant that we had to chip it off by hand. Now that we have Grander technology, all that's needed is a quick blast around the screw heads with a steam pressure cleaner.
Wir haben den Grander Bass. For over one and a half years, we've benefited from the zero maintenance Grander system, which has freed us from the problem of lime scale. The strange thing is that Grander does not stop the lime scale. It's not a miracle. Instead, it seems to alter the water in some way that allows it to move the lime scale. The small amount of remaining solid lime scale is very easy to remove without any physical effort. Setzen sich in, in Kristallformen ab, die leicht zu entfernen sind, ohne Gewaltaufwand. Seit wir den Grander We've never had to use chemicals again since we installed the Grander system. Its positive effect on our production process is amazing. We're certain that the overall wear and tear on our machines and their blades has been greatly reduced. The employees of the Fahn and Gärtner Banner factory in Austria had a constant struggle with the unpleasant smells caused by the bacterial contamination of their processed water. The problems were greatest when the employees came to work on a Monday morning after the smell had built up over the weekend. The company decided to see if grander technology was a possible solution. To be absolutely certain about the results from their own lab, they employed the services of an accredited institute, the Hydrological Examination Center of Salzburg. About six years ago, we installed a wastewater recycling facility to treat our effluent water to enable its reuse in the production process. At peak efficiency, we were able to recover about 70% of the effluent water. But the recycling system had one big drawback. During overnight and weekend downtimes, the effluent water sat in tanks and became stagnant, leading to a pungent smell. We urgently needed a solution. In addition to improved water quality, other important criteria for Fahn and Gärtner are reduced maintenance and sustainability. Der Versuch hat circa ein Jahr gedauert, wurde also von auch externen Testanstalten mitbegleitet. A trial of grander technology was set up, including a year's worth of detailed laboratory monitoring. During this period, we noted a substantial reduction in odor. The results of our microbiological testing showed that the revitalized water seems to inhibit the growth of putrefying bacteria. This leads to reduction in bad odors. Our employees were delighted. Eklid glass produces 250,000 tons of glass a year in Austria. Water is essential to the glass industry. It is used for cooling as well as washing away glass dust. The dust that settles on machine parts has to be flushed away using water treated with flocculent chemicals, and these chemicals are not cheap. The water was cloudy and full of sludge, lime scale and fine glass particles. But once we installed the grander system, the sedimentation of the glass particles